welcome to my little tutorial on how to use my tool called Tilemaster. I just released a new version today. It's a pretty simple but useful tile editor for tile based textures uh, like they are used in RPG Maker or Minecraft wherever you want. Um, yeah. Let's get started. Um, the main function of this tool is to mix different sets of tiles without uh, using other complex editors and scratch your head. So on the right side we have our source picture which is empty at the moment. Later. On the left side we have our target picture here. So whenever uh, we want to copy we just select the exchange tool select one or more tiles and click and paste so I'll demonstrate this first I'll load a texture let's go with this 16 to 16 tiles here you have to enter the numbers to make sure that tile master sets the correct tile pixel resolution okay here we are uh, that's a pre uh, pretty classic um, minecraft texture pack or texture it's from Gerodoku and on the left side we have our target picture now um, as you can see we have different resolutions on the right side here we have 32 to 32 pixels per tile. On the left side we have the default Minecraft resolution of 16 pixels to 16 pixels. Um, that's not any uh, another problem. We can just select our tiles we want and left click on this side and you see that they are automatically adapted to the correct resolution. Of course you'll lose detailed but uh, it's pretty cool for uh, fast mixing uh, even when going from low resolution to high resolution like this turn small this here is a default minecraft texture and if I say new and let's say 32 pixels ooh buck Okay, um, uh, I can just like here the tiles I want, left click, and here they are. Higher resolution, not more details, but they fit perfectly. Okay, so of course we can go here, say terrain. Oh, load it doubled. But of course we can just go here, select all, copy and paste. Let's load another one. Mm, Isa alternates, open, 16 to 16 tiles. Here they are. Oh, da, 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 da. where is the pumpkin? Oh, little pumpkin. Ah. Yeah, it's a pretty old one, I forgot. It has no... Oh, well, it has. It's an alternate, though, and they are aligned differently. Uh, just let loose a melon pumpkin. TNT. Here it is. So, well, uh, these are the basics. If you're finished, you can just file, go file, save as and write your name here it is your newly created texture okay so this is how you use it on a normal texture let's use it on something different Open. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. I thought. 
fine. Ding. Um, this here is a scaled up version of the basic um, picture texture. Uh, you know in Minecraft you can place uh, pictures on the wall and uh, this is the file where they are stored in. Tile based again it's um, 16 to 16 tiles um, but uh, let's play some custom textures here uh, first my favorite character from fairy tale um, let's load this one two okay first I'll load it this way Mm -mm, not correct. You see that uh, my tool tried to divide the size and height by 16 tiles. It didn't work. It's wrong anyway. Okay, now I load it. That's correct. Tile count. It's one and two. Here we are. Uh, okay, you can't see the lines since uh, the red selection always covers here the black line but uh, now we can just fit it in without any problems same goes for others uh, da, 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 da. four on four you load it four on four here she is just select all go down that's it and we can go here again same picture but say two on two you see we have now a smaller tile count so I'll just select it here and go here see same picture but two different resolutions no problem course we can load something like this as well so um, this is pretty good record. something that's new in this version is a very 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 basic and sometimes unstable tile editor I'll demonstrate it um, uh, why not? Let's load this picture again. We have four on two tiles. So we will use high resolution here. Here it is. Okay, to edit, we just do a right click, edit and our editor just opens up with our selected tiles we have show grid which shows us our tiles we can zoom in right there here oh too much 800 percent uh maybe 200 Third, yeah 200 looks good okay in the this editor we can do very very basic things like um, painting with a black pixel uh, painting black painting black pixels no of course not we can paint with a pen um, we can change the color we can Rate it. We can change the size. See, and um, something else that might be useful. We can use an alpha pen. Well, the alpha pen uh, changes the alpha value of our background. So if we type zero, you see, 
we completely erase our background. So it uh, doesn't look good, but it's good for enough for this video. Da -da -da. So, okay, very, very rough, but um, looks okay. Um, of course, we can use other values like this half transparent. See? But I'll change it back to. Ah, no, first I'll demonstrate this little tool, which is called the alpha pickle. It allows you to pick the alpha value of a pixel you're clicking. So in case you are working with different alpha values, you can just click and you'll get it here. Same goes with the color picker. Okay. Mm. But let's just remove this here again so okay so if you're finished you just go to save and close and here it is our finished picture and i didn't change the tool okay happens but um as you can see this way you can manipulate um your textures for example if we File. Choose a pumpkin. Right click. Edit. Why not? Da -da -da. See? Tool is uh, so pretty basic, but it's working. So another useful point for this is um, here we have our water. We just select it, edit choose our transparency for example let's make it not so transparent choose a sick fan and here you see transparent value is changed so it's slightly transparent but not really uh, we can go the other way around and say See, uh, you can't see much of it. If you save it, the water is here. Yeah, uh, just a little advice for this version. If you open the editor, just make a save of your current work because uh, the editor sometimes uh, crashes right at startup but that's something I have to hunt down mm, but that will be fixed in a later version yes yeah, so that's it for this and hope you enjoy it if you have any problems found a bug or something please tell me explain it in detail maybe a screenshot or more down in the YouTube comments or go to the link in the com uh, in the description uh, which is a link to the main thread on minecraftforum.net where you can post more detailed information about problems or how useful this tool was or whatever hope you enjoy it see you next time